Hey guys, this is Dr. Paul from Specialized Physical Therapy and Hyper CrossFit uh, in Burlington, New Jersey. Today I want to talk to you about a technique or a treatment modality uh, that a few of my colleagues uh, in the area and across the uh, across the state are using, and that's called blood that's called blood flow restriction training or BFR. BFR has shown in the literature to demonstrate strength gains uh, in athletes in a safe manner, and there's definitely clinical application to patients who are recovering from injury, disease, or surgery. So the, the simple process behind blood flow restriction training is that we're, we're reducing or restricting the venous return to the, blood, uh, to the muscle. And by doing that, that sets, sets up a favorable environment for strengthening in the muscle. So imagine if you can get strength gains using about 30% of your one repetition max and getting gains in about three to four weeks compared to working out at 60 to 70, 75% of your one repetition max and taking maybe up to eight to 12 weeks to get the gains. And at the same time, reducing stress on your joints and muscles. That is something that I think we can definitely take advantage of uh, in athletes who are not injured, who are having like a deload week or want to reduce the amount of work they're doing but yet still keep their strength, as well as patients who are uh, recovering from surgery, for example, where we need to protect the uh, surgical site and the, and the muscle area of the body that needs to uh, recover and repair, but at the same time we can stimulate uh, their strength so they can recover faster. So the way we do this with blood flow restriction training is we use cuffs around the limbs. We have an upper extremity cuff that usually goes up around the upper arm. Um, we have a cuff that you can use for the lower extremity which usually goes around just above the, uh, uh, or below the uh, groin. And what we do is we set a pressure at the limb of the cuff that will restrict the blood flow but not occlude it. We don't want to stop blood flow, we just want to restrict it and that's the venous uh, blood flow. Uh, so the way we do this is we use, first use Doppler ultrasound and we either take the uh, pulse just at the wrist or if you're using the legs just behind the ankle. And this helps us to listen for the heartbeat or the heart rate. And when we start to inflate the cuff, we want to get it to a point where we no longer hear the heartbeat or the heart rate. And that would be the point of occlusion. Now. We don't want to work out there, what we want to do is take a percentage of that point, so in the arm it's about 50% of the occlusion point or 80% in the lower extremities. We take 50 or 80% and set the cuff at that pressure. That's a pressure where we'll work out. Uh, so in the next video I will show you how this might look in an athlete who's trying to uh, promote strength but still reducing stress on the muscles and the joints. Okay, talk to you soon. Thanks.